Yo, what's good? Big Z here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this. So the song is Lewis the Child's song, Dear Sense, and like all their other tracks, they're always really unique, and this one's no different. So let's jump right into how I remade it. As always, all the MIDI files and serum patches will be linked down below. So there's a main background synth that's keeping the whole rhythm and drive of the song, and this is what that sound sounds like. So it's a very analog, retro sounding synth, but I remade it in Serum and I used a couple tricks to make it more analog and retro sounding. So it's two saw waves. One of them is two octaves down with one voice of unison. The second saw wave is an octave up from that with six voices of unison that's slightly detuned. So there's nothing going on with the envelopes or the filter in this one because the sound is just going full blast the whole time the notes are played. But in this LFO right here, I'm using this LFO to control the fine pitch of both of these wavetables. So how you do that is drag the LFO up to the fine pitch section and you can pick how much you want the LFO to affect this fine pitch. So I just set it around eight because you want it just to slightly affect it. And what this does is change the pitch of the sound throughout time at a rate that you can choose to make it more analog and old school feeling. So down here you can adjust the rate of how fast or slow it detunes the sound. I also have a third technically oscillator going here in the subsection where I use another saw wave from the subsection and put it an octave up from the other ones just to add another layer of high end to the sound. In the effects section, the only thing I've gone on is some hard clip distortion where the mix is all the way up and the drive's at like 75%. For processing on this sound, I have some EQ that's rolling off the high end and cutting the mids a little bit. Then I have some OTT compressing the sound and rolling off a little more of the high end. Then I have another compressor, and this compressor is what's being side-chained to the kick. So every time the kick plays, the synth is ducking out of the way. So that's it for that main synth sound. Now let's move on to the weird lead sound that blasts in every once in a while. That really is what makes the song so unique. So it's two layers that sound like this together. So there's one main layer that sounds like this that's filling up the higher end of the frequency spectrum. It's really the bulk of the sound. And to fill out the low end, there's this low layer that sounds like this. So let's get into how I remade this synth. So in Serum, it is two saw waves, and they're both seven voices of unison. Um, the detune is being affected by this envelope right here. That's kind of a weird looking envelope. It's just because this sustain is only slightly brought down to minus one decibel. So usually you'd have a filter look more like this or something, but on this one, you drag the node up a little bit and have the sustain go all the way up to about minus one. So this envelope is affecting the detune of both the oscillators, and it's also affecting the cutoff of the low pass filter. So just like the other synth, to make this synth sound more retro too, I'm using the same trick where I'm using this LFO to modulate the fine pitch of both oscillators. So you can kind of hear the pitch moving back and forth as the notes are playing. In the effects section, I have some dimension expander. I have a good amount of chorus that's set to about 50%. And then I have this second envelope here controlling the reverb mix of this reverb that it's a hall reverb with the size and decay almost all the way down. It's just adding a gust of reverb at the beginning of the sound every time a note is played. So for other processing on the sound, I have some OTT on there, compressing it. Then I have some EQ that's cutting off some frequencies around 4,500 hertz, just reducing those a lot. And then rolling off the high end with a high shelf EQ, and then cutting off everything below 270 hertz. 
Then I have this Valhalla Uber mod, which I think is a free plugin that's really kind of messing up the sound a little bit and giving it that unique characteristic. So you can just mess around with this plugin for a while to get some different types of crazy sounds. I'll mess around with it just so you guys can hear what I'm talking about. So you can really mess around with that plugin for a while and just get some really crazy sounds out of it. So then that's the main part of that sound. And what I did was just duplicate that exact synth sound down here with this low layer. It's the same exact serum patch and everything, except on this one, I used some little Alter Boy to mess with the foreman and the pitch of the sound. So I brought the pitch all the way down and the foreman all the way down on this one. So what that does is take the sound from sounding like this to this. And on this one, I have a few different effects. I added some Valhalla Room and put the mix up to 100% and made the decay time really short, like 0.3 seconds. And what that does is it just put the sound in a really small space and gives it a cool characteristic. Since this sound is just the low end of the lead, I'm filtering out all the highs, everything above like 2,500 Hertz with the EQ on this one. And then I still have the same Bahala Uber Mod plug-in on this one too. The drum groove of this song is pretty cool too, and here's what that sounds like by itself. Most of the groove is coming from these three hi-hats, just switching off from each other and playing off of each other. All right, that's it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Spotify below. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.